many of us, included college professors and historians and mothers and daddies and everything else in all walks, call them kids. You do not birth kids. A kid is a baby goat. A kid belongs to the goat god Baphomet. That's where it comes from. Goats have kids. And there are certain segment of people who, who worship Baphomet or sacrificing daily to Baphomet. And there are children that they're sacrificing. And the first starts by making you not understand that you gave birth to children and the difference by then saying it's nothing but a baby goat. That's the way they treat, they treat our children because we allow it because of our ignorance and not understanding that kids get treated one way and children get treated another way. One belongs to a goat god in the animal fandom, kingdom. The other belongs to a man and either other even belong to human. So that's one thing I'm glad you said that. What is happening is the children that are being born now are crystals. Now I'm going to have to get into that. Give me about a few minutes if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. <laughs> we started off with children that were just being born and they were going through segmented times. They were here, certain persons, they were here to understand the planet, to gain certain concept of what it means to be physical. And, and that's another thing I got to say too. We, when you have a soul, you are not here trying to understand spirituality. Your spirit's trying to understand physicality, and we haven't done so wrong. It's like you had to get here because you couldn't understand when you had it good, when you were able to go to the stars, to go to the cosmos, to live wherever you wanted to, wherever your mind desired. You wanted to understand what physical reality was. Well, that's an oxymoron. There's no such thing as physical reality. This is the lowest vibration you can get from the universal creator's mind and still have anything going because now it's everything physical. You can't move fast. Everything is ponderous. You live, you die, you age. That is a low thing for a soul. But we needed that because we thought we needed it. Therefore, we got it. But where we're going into now was, well, I'd say from about 19, I'm not going to even go back before that, but starting at about 1965, 67, indigos were being born. This means that the type of soul not children, but but children so in souls that were being born were here to fight or flight. They had been the ancestors that we now try to find up. They were born. They were the ancestors, just as there's an ancestor still in our DNA. They were here and got misused. They were here and understood better. So they came back to eradicate an age old enemy called Dracons. But when they got here, because of misapplication of information and feeding of the mother, of the father, and not understanding how to nurture a advanced soul, and getting a planet that began to fight them because of the people that gave birth were not controlling the area where they gave birth, so they were subject to the things that these people who dominated them gave. And so they got here ready to fight one thing, and they put them into wars. They put them into the Korean War. They put them into the Gulf War. They put them into any wars. They were here to fight or flight the Dracons and enemies, we made them fight, or they made each other fight each other. They fought the races that they have, that they know about, the five different races that are here. They fought each other. And instead of them going out to fight what they came here for, they used them up. They messed up their bodies. They messed up their mind because war is hair and hell. And when you fight on that, you're never sane again because it's impossible to be barbaric and then stay sane and be an advanced being. So they used them up then. Now that there's, that's gone by, you know, they, they're the ones, and I know a lot of people are not going to like to, they're the ones that started with the rap, they're the ones cursing the air and fighting bad, but they weren't fighting anything but the air and saying curse words, which only spoiled the planetary vibration, and let them vent instead of concentrating on what they said they came here for. Well, that's gone now. Starting in about 1989, 87 to 89, crystals were being born. And these are the babies now that come in here. They're born psychic. In the womb, they communicate. They're born with eyes wide open and spine erect. They can walk, usually after the end of about 30, 35 days. They are advanced. This is the one that you see these movies, heroes. These are advanced souls that can begin to bring in wonderful power. And they can bring in that wonderful power because they can bring it in from the sun. Most of them have melanin. Most of them have pineal glands, and to the grade of melanin is the kind of power you can take from the sun. So they're here now to get it on. They're going to use mind power. They're going to develop technology that's going to be un almost un un misunderstandable. They can begin to work with machines almost as soon as they're born. That's literally almost uh, because they already have prior knowledge. They have a total recall. They're here to do what they're here to do. And they're here to fight Dracons. They're here to work on a different dimensions. They're here to use the technology of those dimensions. But the best technology is mind power. They'll be able to do things with their minds that we only dream of. And when augmented a little bit with machines, they can do stupendous things. 
That's what our mortal enemy, the Dracons, have been doing because the Dracons were fourth dimensional here on this planet to mess with us who are third dimensional, but they can't go into fifth dimensional, and we can. So that's pretty much the scenario as way out it seems by my understanding, taking all the facts in and not leaving some things out because it makes me get kind of squirmish. That's what I think is happening now.